Hey guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. Before anyone asks, yes, this is a Bulgari B01 ring, rose gold. It is not mine, it is my mum's. If you're wondering where my wedding set is, check out, it's getting cleaned. Will hasn't left me yet. First up, I'd like to thank today's video sponsor and that is SLJ. Second Life Jewels have a sponsored a video again and this time they're doing a giveaway. Stop! These guys are sensational. Trust me, I back them 100%. Not only for just how innovative the idea of the business is, but obviously for repurposing. You know, we're in a world of disposable, I guess. So this company makes sense and it's clever. So Second Life Jewels repurposes luxury designer, 100% authentic luxury designer items, accessories. They repurpose it into jewelry. Today I have on my Dior lock pendant. This was gifted to me by Second Life Jewels, but you guys can be in the running to win this amazing pendant. And it is a Chanel coin, so it's similar to this, but it's a Chanel coin repurposed onto a chain. So this could have come off a belt, you know, it could have come off the back of a bag, it could have been an accessory on a keychain or something like that. They've taken it off in a very delicate way and they've repurposed it onto a chain that you can wear as a necklace. They do belts, they do earrings, they do all different types of things. I will leave their site below but if you would like to enter this giveaway to win this Chanel coin pendant just enter below your favorite designer. That is it and they will pick a winner from the comments below. You have to follow my YouTube channel follow my Instagram and follow them on Instagram. I will leave the four steps below and you are entered to win this giveaway of this gorgeous Chanel coin pendant. Okay, I'm just gonna get straight to it and start off with this because obviously it's what the name of the video is and truthfully, <sighs> dumbest, like just stupidest, okay? <laughs> Dumbest Louis Vuitton purchase I've probably ever made, but at this point, where do we go, people? Okay, it's been a hundred million years that I've had this channel and had Instagram, so at this point, I'm just like, why not, hey? The lovely sales associate threw in the LV magazine, all the current collections, what they're doing, all that sort of stuff, men's and women. He was so great. This was in the city Louis Vuitton inside Westfield. So it was like the boutique store inside Westfield, not the standalone store. Here is a proof of purchase, which I will share the price. It is embarrassing, but I will share it. And here, is the item. You gotta get out of here. <laughs> you have just gotta get out of here. It is ridiculous, but at the same time, once you see it, I guess you'll understand why. So here we go. Beautiful ribbon and the card. You guys can help me justify this, okay? It's in a gorgeous drawer box. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of this bag. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Cutest little drawstring dust bag to unbox with you guys. Okay, help me justify. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. Truthfully, dumbest, stupidest, I, I've lost it. At this point in my career, friends and family, followers, subbies, I've lost it. Comment below, have I lost it? I think I have, I've lost my mind. This is the brand new, all over monogram, micro pochette Matisse bag. <laughs> really, like really and truthfully, it classifies as a bag. On their side, it classifies as a bag, as a micro bag. You know, these micro bags are everywhere. And if I am gonna justify it, this micro bag from Louis Vuitton, these tiny, tiny bags versus the micro bags from Chanel. I'll throw in a few cutaways when I went to Chanel the night I got this. Um, I mean, 
They're six, seven thousand Australian dollars. So five, four, five US. So this comes in a lot lower, but these micro bag trends are so, so hot right now. It's ridiculous what people are prepared to pay for what will, my husband will said you can put a packet of Tic Tacs in. His insults towards all different types of luxury houses right now are really, really mean. I put this post on Instagram but he said that the 22, the Chanel 22 bag, when I went to tell him it was $8,000, he was like, for a trash bag. Never mind him. So this is the micro pochette Matisse. Can we all just take a moment to look at its cuteness? Right? It's the cuteness. So this bag, bag, was offered in the all over monogram on prompt. So it's the black, the white, I think it came in the rose poudre, I'm not quite sure. Uh, but then they've released it in the canvas. Obviously everyone went com completely, completely crazy. I am waiting, waiting for them to release, hopefully, fingers crossed, the on the go uh, BB in all over monogram, just monogram. They'll probably do it in reverse and monogram like the big one, but Oh my God, that bag is so cute too. Too many LV bags on my wish list. Way too many. Why am I holding the proof of purchase? Obviously, I'm going to show it to you next to my Porsche Matisse's, which are above me in a second, just to see how tiny it is. But I just want to go over the features and show you. It is a completely shrunk down, like shot down with a miniature ray version of the pochette Matisse. Literally exactly the same, minus a zipper pocket on the back and it comes with a detachable little chain and it's the Felici chain, but it's exactly the same everywhere else. So you push the lock together to open it like so. It has the beautiful Vachette tab here on the top. It has the Vachette handle with Louis Vuitton Paris um, stamped on the top of it. You open it up like so. It is exactly the Porsche Matisse layout. So you have a front pocket, you have a back slip pocket. There is not an extra back slip pocket, which is what the big bag has. And you can see the chain down the back there. It has Louis Vuitton Paris made in, this is made in Spain, stamped on the back in Vachette, exactly the same. Here is the gorgeous chain. Now this is a Felici chain and everybody is just so happy about that. All of the different unboxings that I've seen, a shout out to my friend Michelle, I watched her unboxing. That is what pushed me over the edge. Firstly, I will say she's this big. I'm not this big, okay? We got curves, we got bubble. And she put it on and she showed all the different ways you can sort of trick it up and use it. And it was belt bags, clever ideas like that. Jerusha ain't wearing a belt bag. The idea that this Felici chain, which is really, really nice weight. It's not flimsy, it's not hollow, and it's diamond cut, so it sparkles. Look at that. It is so beautiful. Then you've got the Louis Vuitton with the LV engraved in it with the claw clasp and it is detachable. So you do your little baggy back up and you can put your chain on, which hello, you know, as Michelle said, bang for your buck, you, which I'm like a strap queen, can take off your chain and you can put a strap on it. Mostly I was thinking straight away, hello Eva Clutch, that is a thin, probably perfect size to take this off and use as a vachette strap. This cross bodies uh, and goes on the shoulder obviously, but if you wanted to have it as, you know, kind of more casual, you can put your Eva Clutch strap on it. Hello. You can also put, if you have other straps, such as I do, my Palm Springs mini backpacks, the black straps, you could do that if you don't mind that with Vachette. I have all over monogram straps. The fact it's detachable with the D-rings on the side is just... Well, to me, it's how I kept justifying this price tag. Okay, I'm just going to leave it here while I tell you the price tag so you see how pretty it is and you can justify it with me. <laughs> Ridiculous. 
It is so ridiculous. So my sales associate's name was Charles. Hi, Charles. I said I would shout out to him. He was so gorgeous. This stunning <laughs> micro pochette Matisse, not a pochette Matisse bag, can hold Tic Tacs, comes in at 2000 760 Australian dollars converted uh, in US in euros obviously to your figure this is basically a keychain so now I'm gonna go and get my Porsche Matisse's and show them to you next to this so that you can see a real size comparison I didn't quite think this through I only have two hands and this is three bags however <laughs> reverse Porsche Matisse uh, in the reverse canvas, Porsche Matisse in the classic monogram canvas, right? We know them. Okay, let's hold it up versus the classic because it is the mini doppelganger of this bag. Can you <laughs> get out of here? Like, what is this? I have lost my mind. <laughs> that is what I need to title this video. Lost my mind. Guys, this is ridiculous. Stop, it's so cute. Okay, matching top handles of a shirt. This one is that pre-patina. If you watch my uh, What's In My Bag with my um, heart, my Game On Heart Bag, it's that same pre-patina vachette. I, that's what we call it. It just means a little bit darker as opposed to this sort of raw vachette cowhide that's just... A little bit scary and you just don't want to stain it I mean this would probably get water drops on it as well but it's just that little bit extra like less getting dirty obviously can be a little bag charm on this bag and can fit inside this bag I'll show you what fits in a second this is it next to the reverse <laughs> I mean come on either way this is my pochette Matisse family hello family Classic reverse micro pochette Matisse. What? So let's do this one as well. While we're here, let's just hang out, shall we? This is my Eva Clutch. Amazing. I do get asked a lot if I still have my original bags, and I do. My Neverfull GM monogram, my Eva Clutch, and my Gucci Boston Sulky bag. I do. A lot of people think, oh, we just buy them, they're original bags, and we sell them. I don't. I have them. I definitely have them. Here is my Eva Clutch. So this is the ball rounded chain, and this is the fleecy chain. It's really beautiful, and because it's diamond cut, it sparkles like crazy. But let's go ahead and show you. Ta-da! And my Eva clutch is obviously like 10 years old. <laughs> ten, 10 years old. God, I've been doing this forever. My Eva clutch is obviously 10 years old, so it's got a really beautiful patina to it. And it's even and it's gorgeous. So if we go ahead and take off our micro pochette Matisse chain. Come on. Bang for your buck, people. Bang for your buck. And attach our Eva clutch. Hello, come on. How is that not just the Oh, stop, stop. It's so good. It is good, guys. And if you're curvy and tall like me, tall, tall, okay? Almost six foot. Nowhere near Michelle's size. She's absolutely teeny weeny. It is going to hit you at... Probably, yeah, so mid-waist kind of, mid-waist on an Eva clutch. And Eva clutches straps are long, non-adjustable but long. Okay, while we're here, let's just do a what fits in it, shall we? Why not? We are here together. Uh, I've just taken my stuff out of my current bag, which is my um, Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini in reverse. And that's small anyway, and this is all I really had in it, minus... Um, I don't put my phone in it because I'm always on it. So my phone would have been in like my jacket pocket. This is my wallet with cards and cash in the front. You can see this. If I can find one of these and link it below, guys, truthfully, this, like the Louis Vuitton Recto Verso, is amazing. So you have a zipper on top, coins. Oh my God, this is turning into a full what's in my bag review. Right. Let's go ahead and see if it will fit the back. The biggest pocket is the back. 
so I'm gonna slip it in there which I mean you know it goes in it's really snug however it's pretty redundant because you're putting a card holder like in a tiny little bag that's basically the size of a card holder it does close it's a squish like I wouldn't squish it like that so I would probably use my Louis Vuitton card holder in the reverse in the back there my four key my four key from Louis Vuitton I do need this that slips down the back that slips in there fine and then if I had cards and cash in the front that's fine this is my car key on uh, my black this is my black um, leather small luggage tag with my son's initials on it I would have to take that off because that's such a waste of space obviously my key fits I can put some cards cash some gum if I needed it extra cards that sort of thing these are points cards I guess if I wanted to squish app, um, Apple AirPods which I do need I use them for driving and then we can do it up it's a little bit tight but stop stop you're so cute this last item and honestly this is just this is just when you also lose your mind and just think oh my god oh my god things are so hard to get if it comes up if you see it if you see it in the boutique take it so there it is in its drawer box and dust bag and of course my all-time all-time favorite favorite accessory is the toiletry 15 I love all of the sizes this is 15 I love love all my you know pouches I have which I'm I'm absolutely ridiculous I collect them all and I put my I do have a really big makeup collection so I collect them all that's fine but this one to go down inside your bag this is the toiletry 15 then there's 19 then there's 26 this is very similar to a mini pochette as a catch-all down inside a, you know a bag a handbag not a micro Matisse <laughs> this was just a oh my god grab it if we're duplicating if we've got three it doesn't matter grab it type thing I get real like FOMO in the sense of something that I use using is a really big thing that's going around right now especially on YouTube like saying that we have all these things but we don't use them I couldn't I could not go past it so this is the toiletry 15 you guys if you know it it's the coated lined leather so it's yeah obviously a cosmetic case um, but it's a great capsule so those are my unboxings today crazy I know lost my mind lost my mind but come on come on it's it's too cute please go ahead and enter the giveaway of the second life jewels you can go ahead and win one of these amazing pieces and truthfully to repurpose I feel like it's just it's doing something good you know it's really and it's beautiful beautiful stuff thank you so much for watching my video guys if you enjoyed it please go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel already and wish to do so there is a button below I would super appreciate that guys I hope everybody is staying safe and doing well take care peace <laughs>